Living on the coast, we think about hurricanes all the time. However, we are at a tsunami risk. Beautiful beaches, abundant greenery, tropical weather, and the risk for tsunamis. It's a slim chance, but Beaufort County residents and visitors should be aware of the possibility of a tsunami. As of August 1, 2018, Beaufort County is a tsunami-ready county. It's a community recognition program promoting tsunami hazard preparedness, improving public safety before, during, and after tsunami emergencies. Tsunami Ready is a program that was created by the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration and National Weather Service to give guidance to communities that are trying to prepare for the potential impact of a tsunami so that communities who don't normally think about an event like that would be involved in a planning process that would make them better prepared. Tsunamis are one of the most destructive forces in nature. They are a series of waves usually caused by earthquakes below or near the ocean floor, but can also be caused by landslides, volcanic activity, certain types of weather, and near-Earth objects like asteroids. A sudden displacement of the ocean floor creates a transfer of energy from the seafloor to the ocean. This causes waves on the surface, traveling in all directions. Waves in deep waters are barely noticeable, but can travel at speeds up to 500 miles per hour or more. Once into shallow waters, these waves slow to about 20 or 30 miles per hour, but grow in height. Most are less than 10 feet high. Waters along the coast may recede noticeably. Then, a large wall of turbulent water called a bore may form. The tsunami hits land like a flash flood with devastating force. Waves can go on for hours. Beaufort County sits on the Somerville Fault Line. While a shift in it could cause the ground below our feet to shake, it's not what's going to cause a seismic sea wave. There are two scenarios in the Atlantic that would produce a tsunami that would threaten us. One is an earthquake in the Puerto Rican Trench. It's the deepest part of the Atlantic Ocean just off the coast of Puerto Rico along the Eastern Caribbean islands. The second one is what's called a submarine slide where the shelf would slide just east of the North Carolina coast, and this would produce a tsunami that would affect us. The possibility of this occurring is remote, but should it occur, the impact on Beaufort County would be great, uh, to the point where the Center for Applied uh, Coastal Research has done extensive tsunami planning and mapping for the South Carolina coast to include Beaufort County. A tsunami could have a big impact on our barrier islands, including Paris Island. Fripp Island, Harbor Island, Hilton Head, Hunting, Defusky, and Paris Island are at risk. Now, Paris Island is not a barrier island, but it's open to the ocean by Port Royal Sound. There's nothing to protect it. Unlike a hurricane, the sea islands just behind the barrier islands, those such as St. Helena and Ladies Island, would be less impacted. The process to become tsunami ready began in early 2017. Local emergency management leaders met regularly with the National Weather Service Charleston to make sure the required checklist was being completed correctly. Those requirements included defining tsunami hazard zones, producing evacuation maps and installing evacuation route signs, supporting ongoing sustained tsunami public education and outreach, including to schools in tsunami hazard zones, and having multiple ways to receive a tsunami warning and alert the public. And the plan is multifaceted. Part of it is evacuate them to a safe high area, and they don't have to go far. It's not like a hurricane evacuation where we have to leave the county. Part of the Hilton Head evacuation plan is vertical evacuation in the high-rise hotels. We get them up because Chances are good it's going to happen on clear weather day, so we don't have to worry about storm winds or anything. None of the things we have to worry about with a hurricane, just get them up out of the storm surge. So we've identified two locations, they're both schools, the St. Helena Elementary School and Hilton Head Elementary School, as being the tsunami rally points. If we have a tsunami event and we put the warnings out, that's as far as you need to go to get out of the way of, of the event, and then we'll respond from there. Beaufort County has recently received a grant for an early warning siren system. It's something we have pursued for nearly 10 years, and we have finally uh, been able to receive the grant. The uh, Beaufort County Recovery and Mitigation Office be deploying these sirens in about two dozen locations. 
These are outdoor warning sirens, and that's the purpose of them, is to warn folks that are outdoors where they might not have access to other warning devices. They will be used for, for tornadoes, severe thunderstorm, lightning storms like they use over on Paris Island, and they will become part of the tsunami warning program also. We met with the National Weather Service a number of times as we worked through the process to make sure we were going in the right direction. And we submitted the whole plan to the National Weather Service Charleston Forecast Office about a month ago, and they approved it and Beaufort County is now officially tsunami ready.